What's up everyone, it's Tin here, your no-code AI automation expert, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at this workflow right here. So as you can see, we're going to build a real estate AI agent plus scraper tool, uh, a tool that basically scrapes the popular websites like Zillow, uh, and then we also have information extractor that extracts all the information from that scraping tool right here and gives us right here, we have two uh, AI agents that actually spit out uh, a structured uh, output and send this to Gmail. So this can act like your real estate uh, agent uh, or data analysis uh, tool. And also here, you also get it in the Google Sheets as well, so that you can actually see the structured data and the structured output. This is how it looks like right here, as you can see. Uh, and obviously it's really, really awesome. So you get the address, price, bedrooms, bathrooms, size, sale date, URL, and a lot of other things uh, as well as you can see right here. So we're going to be building this one. Uh, however, if you wanna get this as a template, you can always go to our school community. We have a free school community that we just started. So you can actually go here and get all of these uh, templates in our classroom. So you can click on the classroom and get the templates and also obviously you know you can connect with other people in the community as well so uh yeah let's get started with this first one so obviously we're going to go with a new workflow uh, i will kind of go to this workflow just to remind myself uh you know how everything goes uh and uh, yeah so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a trigger manually here because we obviously want to test this workflow manually and i always like to put it right here uh, just so I can see it. Um, now, next thing that we want to do is we want to use an HTTPS request or HTTP request here. Now, how this looks like in this workflow is, as you can see, we're using Gina AI. So Gina AI is a scraping tool that allows you to scrape pretty much anything and any website. Now, the best part is you can go to Gina AI and you can simply scroll below here and once you scroll below here as you can see here you will be able to get your api key so you have the api key and you will be able to also see how the authorization process goes but before we actually go within that you will need to go and copy this link right here and paste it right here so this is the link for the the uh, gina now, as you can see, we also have this link right here. So what I did right here is if I go to the second tab here, don't mind my Porsche here, <laughs> uh, let's go with uh, Trulia here. So as you can see, this is kind of like Zillow. I noticed that you can't actually scrape data from Zillow directly uh, anymore. I don't know why, but Zillow doesn't actually allow that. Uh, so what I did is I use trulia.com and I just went in and searched for a specific like um, like location, right? <clears throat> so once I have that, I basically copied that link. So I copied that link and I added that link to my Gina AI right here. And obviously for the authentication, generic credential type, header auth, and then uh, I will show you how to do it. So you have a generic credential type and then here header auth and then when you're going here and creating credentials uh, make sure that you actually go here with the value you actually need to go and add the value bearer and then api key so this is how it looks like in gina ai it will bearer and then api key right here so that's what you want to do i have it right here so uh i will just copy it obviously my editor will blur this uh, you know just because uh, but uh, we go here in the workflow. So here goes the bear and here goes authorization. And we're going to, I'm going to be naming this Gina AI2 because I already have one. Let me just exit out of this. And let me move a couple of things, okay? So once we have this, um, obviously one thing that you wanna do is ignore SSL issues. Um, this is again, just a precautionary thing that we do. So just go here, ignore SSL issue. So now what we're doing essentially with this is we're scraping data from this website right here. Obviously with the API key, we're getting that right here. So um, 
Next step is information extractor. Now here, what you want to do is you want to just go here and type in information extractor. Uh, now, what you want to do is you want to execute the previous nodes. But before we do that, I like to go here and um, add a model. <clears throat> so we're going to use open router chat model. And by the way, to get the key, the API key for this is you simply go, let me just go here to my school again, open router. And you simply want to go to open router and type in free and you can actually get the API key for free AI model. So you can click here, you go to API, create an API key here and just create an API key, whatever key you create, uh, just put the name here so that you know that this is the key that you want to use and then credit limit, you can leave that optional, um, just leave it as it is. And then what you want to do is you want to go here, add here the API key. Once you add the API key, you will be actually be able to use any model, any AI model. So what I like to do is I like to type in free and I can use any AI model from here. So if you already know that uh, a certain AI model <clears throat> can extract um, uh, information really in a great way, you can actually go here and do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Google Gemini 2.0 Pro. This is a good one. So yeah, I'll just use that one. And uh, here, as you can see, if we double click, um, I actually have this um, schema right here that I um, created with Quen. So for those of you who don't know, Quen is basically, it's basically an AI um, chatbot, right? Or an AI chat or AI model, whatever you want to call it. And what I did is, let me kind of explain here. So if I go here, this is what I did. And by the way, I took this from AI workshop. Uh, uh, I think his name is, I'm not sure what his name is, but on YouTube, it's AI workshop. And this is basically where the inspiration for the video came from. And uh, I can actually go here and copy this. And what I did is I copied this prompt. So make sure you have that prompt. And I said in Quen, uh, based on that prompt, give me a JSON, JSON for this prompt. And then this is basically what I did. And after I did that, it basically gave me a JSON for this prompt, as you can see right here. So what this does is basically it structures the prompts or not the prompts, the results so that I get the properties, the results, the type of the properties, items and stuff like that. So uh, I'm just basically just going to be copying this into my workflow, which is a new workflow. So again, uh, a text file needs to be here uh, or actually no, the text is something different. Sorry, uh, we need to define it below. So this is where it goes. And then we also have a system prompt here, which we're going to use this one. Again, you can use any system prompt you want, uh, depending on that, you know, the system, the, the AI will do its own thing. In the text, we actually want to execute the previous node. So let's see uh, that. Um, so we'll have to wait a little bit here until we get the previous node. So this previous node is actually going from Gina AI, as we previously showed. And as you can see, this is the data. So we're just going to put the data here. And as you can see, that's exactly how this um, node looks like. So that's it for that node. Uh, obviously we can test the step if we want <clears throat> and you should be able to get uh, something like this. So yeah, let me just go here and let me see what uh, the output will be. So again, it does take some time to actually go and extract the information. Uh, it should take around a couple of seconds relatively uh, quickly. So once we have that, let me just leave that as it is right here. <clears throat> we want to actually go and we want to split out the uh, data. So we basically want to split out the output and results. So this is how it's going to look like if we go here, this is still going. Okay, so it does take some time. Uh, but yeah, so from there, as you can see, we're going to just go and split it out. And as you can see, we're waiting for the previous node to be done. So let's wait for that to be done. And then we're going to go here and we'll not, we're not going to drag anything. We're just going to copy this output and results. 
and that's how we're going to be testing this out now i don't know why this is uh doing so long if it's going so long you can also change it here to 2.0 flash let's say and let's play it here and let's see what uh, it will came up with so yeah for some reason this is not working it's not working because of the model most likely uh, but yeah, we're going to weigh this model. However, let's go right into the next one right here node So we have split out right you will get the output here and the results So we want to make sure that we split this out You can just write in output dot results here and that's pretty much it So from there what we want to do is we want to send all of that information that is happening right here I'll just pause it for now um, all of that information we want to send into Google Sheets and um, basically here you will get all the information that is uh, needed for Google Sheets. And this will be information like, uh, uh, you know, address, price, bedrooms, bathrooms. So make sure that the same format you use in your Google Sheets. So if it says address with a, a, a lowercase a, then just make sure to go and do that. Or if it has like a line, make sure to put that as well. So uh, that's what you want to do, right? And in the Google Sheets, uh, what you want to do is you want to uh, click on the Google Sheets and append rows. So this is how it's going to look like. Uh, and from here, just go to uh, Google Sheets. Don't mind the error again. It's, it's because of the, um, the AI model here. Uh, and then just go append row in sheet. That's what you want to do. Now from the append row, you simply have real estate agent information. This is uh, what uh, my um, Google Sheet is called. And then from there, I just go with the sheet one because sheet one is this sheet right here. And uh, then uh, map automatically. Because we are mapping automatically, we wanna make sure that this and the data that you get right here is the same. So make sure you use that and make sure you manually add it to your Google Sheet. Now. We actually have that right here. Obviously, you can send this to Google Docs as well. You can send this to any other, uh, you know, uh, any other like application or whatever you want to do. Um, this will again be totally up to you. If you want to send this to Slack later on, even you can send it to Slack. But um, from there, what we have is we have the information and we want to be able to basically go here. And as you can see, I have like an entire tools agent and I click define below and here I have the objective. So this is actually my prompt. Um, the AI agent is tasked with analyzing the real estate market to provide actionable insights and recommendations specifically for real estate agents. So uh, as you can see here, we have input data about all properties will come here and then put the JSON uh, output, which is going to be uh, the JSON output you're getting from uh, the information extractor. So make sure you just put the, the JSON output there uh, because again, you know, as you can see the input data about all the properties will come from the JSON uh, information extractor. And then before that, it will come from uh, Gina AI, right? So Gina AI will scrape information extractor will extract information, right? And then the AI agent will go here and have its own objective to actually go and detailly uh, add the address, the price, the bedrooms, the bathroom size, everything, right? And as you can see, it's a pretty long prompt, but you can prompt this with um, Quen. I like Quen because you can also add images. So if you have any issues during this um, tutorial, you can also add an image into Quen, unlimited images for free. And then Quen can also instruct you on what to do next. So, uh, and then I just put here, you're a detailed real estate analyst. You can put a little bit more effort to it, but uh, I think this will be uh, quite good. So uh, from there, uh, you have the another AI agent and that AI agent will simply, based on the input uh, that the first AI agent gets and generates, it will provide a summary in a structured format. And also I put here, do not say things like, here's the summary, instead just say, here is the real estate market analysis and I put the JSON output of this output right here. Um, so you will see it right here if we execute the previous nodes. And then I sent it all into a Gmail. Um, now, obviously for the Gmail, uh, and by the way, you know, for all of these AI agents, I'm using the same uh, open AI API, uh, not open AI, but open router uh, AI key. And if you click here, you can see that for some, I have a different model 
uh, and you can kind of go in and you know see that for yourself uh, but then I sent it to Gmail Gmail authentication is really easy you just go here you sign in with Google and that's pretty much it and what I'm doing here is I'm sending an email to myself right you can send this email to your uh, colleagues and stuff like that and here you have a JSON output which is an output of this AI agent so uh, very simple right you know uh, this um, Gina AI will scrape then the information extractor will um, gather the output then the AI agent will gather the output from information extractor and then this AI agent will gather the output from this AI agent obviously this here is pretty self-explanatory right it just goes into the information extractor and that that's pretty much it and you will get something like this here and obviously in your email uh, you know once you um, actually click you will get a, a output that is not really that structured so you will need to go and add uh, additional uh, things to make it structured uh, but overall this is basically the real estate AI agent and scraper tool uh, that basically can scrape pretty much you know any data so if you have any other websites other than this one maybe uh, try with uh, Zillow I'm not sure if it's going to work but with any other website that has like public data you can actually go and you know try to scrape it with this particular tool so that's pretty much what you can do with this now obviously we can go here and, and test the workflow uh, but as you can see for me personally here uh, something doesn't add up so I think it's um, basically the the um, the open router is twitching a little bit but um, yeah again you can find this in our free group um, and uh, yeah if you want like a template you can download that in free group and uh, yeah we'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching